Uh, when a woman gets a cycle, her and her husband are separated for, <laughs> physically separated for about two weeks on average, and then afterwards she goes to Nikfa, immerses herself, and then they could be together again. Why do we do this? Judaism is extremely sensitive to life. So when there's even a little potential of a loss of life, so when a woman is on her cycle, that is a loss of life potential of what could have been, it, there's a vacuum of holiness. And when there's a vacuum of holiness, there's a higher potential for kalipot, negativity, to come and be drawn towards that person. Tuma is, is so for anything that's lack of life, meaning if there's only the cemetery, they also have to wash their hands. Benefits of this mitzvah, it's called Taras Mishpacha. It keeps the spark, the physical spark, alive between spouses. When mikvah night comes, they're so excited to be together again. Even just the smallest touch is something so beautiful because you can't touch. And just the smallest hug is just like, wow. So it keeps that spark alive. And it also gives you the opportunity to connect on an emotional level, not just on a physical level, because sometimes one can forget and not work on the emotional relationship as well. The physical distance is so strong, so you got to work on your emotional relationship as well and chat with each other and talk with each other without touching for two weeks. It's a really hard mitzvah, but it also has this beautiful element of keeping a relationship alive.